Hey there everyone, Spazzy Dragon here. Today's video is going to be about Tlaxnet. Now, uh, maybe some of you already know what Tlaxnet is, is that very odd moment where you're smuggling in your ship when there's not too many people online. You sort of enter the system and you instantly get caught by someone. So, no, it's not hacking, it's not cheating. And uh, actually, it's Plagsnet, and today I'm going to show you what all of it is about. Now, the reason why I'm actually using Plagsnet right now is the fact that there's not really a lot of people online. As you can see, there's only 23 people online. And um, the reason why there's not so many people on right, online right now is the fact that as I'm recording this video, apparently all of the Discovery servers, both the official ones and some of the private ones, are being attacked. Um, either it is DDoS or something along those lines. I don't know exactly what this is, but... Well, anyway, I don't exactly know what's going on. As you can see, I just undocked. Uh, I have a Liberty Navy guy and uh, a Coalition player here. I don't know what's going on. I would have to engage the Coalition player, so... Uh, for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to ignore the guy and uh, go my go off and go to Fort Bush and hopefully they will stop spamming the system chat at some point what with them being in range of each other so they can use local at any point but anyway so the idea uh, that the Slagsnet is a way to manually remotely sorry not manually well manually it's always manually but remotely scan player ships without having to actually scan them like this Obviously, right now I'm scanning NPCs, but you can do, obviously, you can do pretty much the same with players. And the Slagsnet is available for all the police factions as I'm making this video, and maybe in the near future we'll get something similar for uh, technologically advanced uh, factions such as the lane hackers or something along those lines. So, as you can see, when we undocked, we had this little... Uh, message pop-up. Connection to trade lane sensor network. Establish pl uh, type slash net to access the network. Uh, before we do, I just want to remind you that this is only for the police ID, so it's uh, Liberty Police, uh, Rainlands, uh, Kasari, Bretonian, and I think it is also available to the GRNs, but I'm not exactly sure as I don't really play a lot of Gallia. So, as it said, we are going to start by typing in slash net, and this is where it's going to tell us the parameters. So there's two settings to use this, all, jump only, and off. When you use all, then that means that it is going to show every jump every player makes within the borders of liberty. So in our case, that is going to be, let's see, it is going to be uh, New York, California, Colorado, uh, Texas, Pennsylvania, Ontario, Court... Uh, no, sorry, Cortez is already a different system. So it, it covers only Liberty for this ID. So if you make um, a uh, Rainland Police character, so obviously it would be the core Rainland systems it would get. And uh, all you will see. So. But basically what this thing does, net all, so it's going to monitor the traffic right now, and let's just wait for a little bit until someone decides to do something. As you will see in a moment, what it does is it alerts you when someone takes either a trade lane or a jump gate. You can only scan these players because when they do, they have a ID number given to them. So, for example, I enter the trade lane, and there it is. Trap T, number 24, has entered the trade lane at E3. Razsex has entered trade lane at New York D3. So, what is this Razsex? Uh, yeah, see, I got bumped out of the trade lane because of the NPCs, and it instantly shows me that it, it just did that. So, who is Razsex? So, we're going to scan... Actually, wait, I'm gonna quickly show scan S, and uh, then 
uh, you can enter either the player names or their ID number. Every player has their own ID. So in this case, we want to see Resex, which is number seven. So show scan the S sign, well, the dollar sign, and uh, seven. What is it? What is it? Okay, so it's a Borowald Freighter power plant at ship. As you can see, it doesn't say the actual name of the ship. It only tells you like very basic information and um, it shows the guns it has uh, ammo it has and it has basic alloy it doesn't sell it doesn't tell you how much it has or anything like that but it gives you basic information so let's scan something else this guy right here in Texas for example let's just see what they do so reinforced alloy Agera fusion reactor basic gunboats so my my guess this would be that someone is using a ship with gunboat turrets to trade with reinforced alloy so my guess this would be a junker salvager which is supplying a base what else do we have here we have Adam Levine in Pennsylvania show again show scans 10 okay so what do we have here Borowald freighter power plant so I can already tell that that is probably a uh, what's his face a dromedary Dulzian oh sorry not not a dromedary it's a freighter but transport turrets so and it's empty because there's no cargo here and uh, what else what else Razek trap T that's me uh, Heimschaus New York B4 let's see what this is scan show scans 22 oh well apparently they either logged off or they left Liberty, so it's going to say error, no scan data. Hmm. I would like to know where these guys are. So yeah, the reason why I wanted to make a video like this right now is the fact that there's not a lot of people online, so uh, my chat window is not going to be just cluttered with information, and sadly that is exactly what usually happens. So, with the three settings, you can either turn it off, uh, you can show all the information, as in when the players enter the trade lanes, and uh, it can only be reduced down to only jumps. It means that when people use jump gates, they either jump in or jump out, which is also good. The trick on using um, Flagsnet is actually having a bit of spatial knowledge, like you need to have a mental image remembered for every single... Uh, map, like for every single system, so think, uh, it says exit the uh, trade lane in New York at E3, so this is E3 as you can see, and uh, at that point uh, you don't really know, if, if, if that's the only amount of information you know, um, uh, if, if, uh, if that's the only amount of information you get, then it can be anything, he could have taken the lane from Manhattan to Baltimore or from Pittsburgh to Baltimore, all you know that he exited one of these trade lanes at E3, so the moment he's going to take a trade lane, it's again going to say at E3 because all of, the tr uh, all of these trade lanes are at E3, and the only way you can actually track per uh, a, a single person is actually to monitor what exactly is they're doing, so for example if someone jumps in at, um, what is this, D2, takes the lane at D2, then uh, exits at E3, then takes a lane at E3, exits at D4, then I already know that he's heading from Colorado to Baltimore to Manhattan, and if they take a trade lane again, then they're probably going to West Point, because no one goes to... Uh, Detroit munitions anymore. It's not really part of a very good trade route, but again, so this is a very good way uh, how to catch smugglers, and this is this is actually one of the reasons why smugglers don't use trade lanes because the moment you take at least one trade lane or use a gate, your ID is recorded, and 
it doesn't matter if it's been 10 or 15 minutes anyone can scan you if they um, had your see this guy just popped up on my radar it's in Pennsylvania it's a USI so it's a lawful I know it's a lawful he's um, his ID is 18 so show scans 18 Bora World fighter power plant it is probably a transport he's not uh, set up yet he has nothing on him right now so the more you use this the better you can the more information you can get out of this so why isn't this uh, sort of used a lot more well because this is a sort of confusing for new players and quite frankly you don't exactly need this and as I said this thing is useful only when there is a certain amount of players on otherwise you get so so much information it actually becomes a little bit bothersome and you just end up having to net off just disable the damn thing whenever you're not using it but it's a very interesting way to say like uh, you're sitting in front of Manhattan and you're just scanning these systems the moment you find uh, a pirate and I'm gonna explain how to get it in a moment uh, the moment you find a pirate you can just uh, say in the system chat that hey guys in that that system that the location a pirate has been spotted be careful right every trader is instantly going to know that okay it's be it's a very good idea not to go there right the way you can actually distinguish uh, pirate players from others is mostly by cargo and uh, when I say cargo it means that maybe they have some police pilots in there or maybe they have um, Navy pi uh, pilots or um, you're just scanning you, you see the loadout of that ships like um, any some sort of guns mainly used by pirates for example Xenos use black videos uh, videos if they if you can see that the guy is using say um, a Eagle power plant and black videos then you probably know that it is a Xeno flying some sort of snub craft and so on and so on so I'm gonna probably do a 15 minutes of disco with this thing a bit later on and uh, hopefully I will get some proper gameplay gameplay footage for this but if you want to try this then be my guest it's um, a very good gimmick for the first two hours or so and then it sort of just becomes a bit boring but again that's just my opinion this was Spazzy Dragon giving you the basics of the flags net usage and um, hopefully I will get some more videos up for this pretty soon safe flight